Okay. I met a guy on Bumble two months ago. He's 34. I am 25. Our first date went well. We had brunch and he was already planning the next date, which was a picnic. He started texting me every day and I felt like things were going well and we hooked up after day three and continued to make plans with each other. Okay, so things are going well. What could possibly go wrong? He introduced me to his friends, got a toothbrush for his place, bought me food when I was sick, told his family about me, bought me a gift for Christmas. I felt like things were getting more serious, but I had concerns because he was going to be stationed somewhere else in 10 months and he was unsure if he was staying in the Navy. Also, he was divorced two years ago and his ex-wife looked, looked like me and was also a personal trainer. Oh, Tyrona. Okay. All right. Personal trainer, huh? Also, oh, you're also a personal trainer? Okay. I am currently applying to PT school, personal training school, so I might be moving in a few months too. So I thought I would just go with the flow and see, and see how things would go. Good. We spent New Year's Eve together and we were rediscovering, we were recovering from being sick. We went to a pregame together with his friends and decided not to go out with them and stay in, which his guy friend seemed annoyed by. Well, of course, you're taking his friend from him. So, of course, I'm going to be, I'm going to be annoyed by you. He then worked all day, Sunday through Monday and texted me this when he knew I was working. There was something more serious I wanted to talk to you about. It's about our intentions with dating. I didn't know how serious of a conversation this should be, but do you feel like you need to know that I don't feel like I can commit to a relationship right now? I know we haven't talked about our intentions at all, but I can take a guess that you would want to become more serious. And up until now, you probably thought I wanted the same. Because I... Tr all right, so, so clearly... It seems like he knows, it seems like he was, he was, he was aware of the intentions he was projecting. And he was aware of your intentions. And he was aware that what he was doing was giving you the impression that he liked you, but he knew he didn't like you. So, okay. All right. That's not good. Um, which I thought I did, but guess I'm not ready. Oh, okay. So he's not ready. You see, guys, let me tell you something, man. Guys are not like fucking getting ready to go to church, okay? There's no such thing as, I don't know if I'm ready. I'm sorry. There's no such thing as that. There's, the only thing that exists is, I don't know if I like you enough. That's the only thing that truly exists in this whole thing. There's no such thing as, I don't know if I like you. I mean, I don't know if I'm ready. Like, we're not, a, we're, when it comes to, like, getting with other people, we're not that emotional about it. It's a physical thing. Do I like you or don't I not like you? It's not, oh, I'm recovering from my ex who hurt my feelings. No, guys don't do that type of stuff. We're, it, it, it just doesn't make sense. When you like someone, it heals everything. I called him and explained how I was going with the flow. He was relieved. He just didn't know about moving things forward. When he thought about us and needed space, and he would text me. After he sent me a reel of a girl throwing fries at a guy saying this is how he thought I would react like a joke. So my question is how to best level myself up when moving on so that maybe he might feel some regret for the disrespect, not asking me out of a place of taking him back. What the fuck? Hmm. Okay. <laughs> Um, regret is one of those things that, it, let me tell you something, man. I, I, I know this for myself. When I like someone, it, I never just wake up one day and regret losing someone that I didn't feel like I wanted to be in a relationship. People don't do that type of stuff. You know what I'm saying? People don't like regret losing someone that they didn't care about you know the only time somebody regrets losing someone that they didn't care about is if they're just that ego driven you know and, and and even if and even if somebody regrets losing you 
when they could have had you, honestly, I don't think they really regret losing you. I think maybe they see you being happier. You found someone and, and now you don't miss them like future, right? Every time you, you'll notice that the women who hurt them the most are the women who always get with a guy that is completely different to him. Like they'll get with a guy that actually values them for them. And that's only when future starts getting butt hurt, you know? And it's kind of like the same with these types of guys is that the, the, these guys, if, if he didn't want a relationship with you and let you go, I'm telling you, the, if they do come back, they're not coming back for love. I'm telling you. They're only coming back because maybe something is missing that doesn't has nothing to do with you, but you feel the need. And once you fulfill that need, they move on. So how do you level up in that way to get them to miss, to regret losing your well, world? Move on. Date somebody else and show it off. <laughs> I mean, I'm not even kidding with you. I hate to say that because because I don't I don't like people showing off their new relationship to to hurt other people or to get revenge. But that that's just the truth, right? Um, you level yourself up by finding somebody else, showing it off on social media. God, I'm I hate saying this. And he'll see it, and I can promise you that dude is gonna moonwalk his ass back like he's Michael Jackson. He's gonna he's gonna come back to you. And what you gotta do is understand why he's coming back to you and not fall for it anymore. He's coming back because it, it, he feels left out. He feels like he like he wants you only because you heard his primary weakness, his vanity and his self-esteem. He sees you happy with somebody else. Now he now because it, what they say is that oh if they like him if they like her then I must like her back. In other words, I remember and this is this, this, I, when I was younger there was this one dude um, from where was he from? Um, I, I think it was yeah he was in Florida. Anyways, he was a nice guy but he was very annoying. He was like me. <laughs> he was very annoying, and I didn't like him because he was just too fucking inconsiderate and and, and a fucking narcissist. Honestly. Uh, Florida. I mean, I'm not saying that Florida people are like that. Anyways, and I remember one day, I thought this dude didn't have any friends. And I'm like, there's no way anybody likes this dude. There's no way. And then when I saw when I when I added him on Instagram, I saw he had a lot of friends. And, and I don't, there was there was like a part of me that I just wasn't aware of that all of a sudden the way I saw him as a friend changed. Now, long term, we didn't stay friends because I just couldn't deal with it. But I remember the fact that he had friends gave, made me gave me made me say, okay, if they like him and look pretty cool, I'm gonna give him another shot. Like, and they, it was all unconscious. It was all unconscious. Anyways, when I did give him a chance, I'm like, I don't know how the fuck these people do it. <laughs> I'm like, uh, okay, that's enough, man. This this nigga is too much for me, man. I'm done with this motherfucker. But it's almost like that. That's that's what happens is that they see you with somebody else, and then all of a sudden they want to sabotage it. I mean, they, all of a sudden they like you, but it's not they like you for you. They like you because because it, you, you means we imitate, right? And desire, a lot of the times, is, is an imitative thing. But the thing is that a lot of the things that we desire, when we have it, we then realize we don't want it. We only wanted it because we saw other people smiling and being happy when they have that thing. And we give it a try, and then we realize we're not happy, right? It's like careers, right? We think, oh, that looks like a cool career until we have it. Then we realized we really didn't want it. We we were just swept up by the by the by the group, right? So that's one thing, right? Now, how do you level yourself up? For me, when you when people level up physically and externally, it's usually a reflection of an internally of internally leveling up, right? It's a it, it's it's you internally level up by learning how to heal from the inside how do you do that developing a meditation practice people I, I i don't know what else to say i truly don't know what else to say um um obviously i when i say work out get in shape that's true but you got to realize that change within you to want to work out now to want to get in shape is usually because you see something in yourself that you need to change in other words you're finally seeing the truth within yourself you're seeing what you really lack and you're finally responding to your body in other words you're getting to know yourself. And the only way for you to have a physical, external change, there has to be an inner change, right? Because when you're down on yourself and feel low, you don't even have the willpower to work out. So sometimes it's totally fine to use the desire to get revenge to work out better. Because what happens, that's, I mean, to get them to see you better, right? 
that's what that's what happened with me that's how that's how i got in the gym you know how many guys get in the gym because their girls broke their heart it's kind of crazy right anyway so you get in the gym and you start working out what what ends, what ends up happening is that you start feeling better about yourself and you stop and you start forgetting why you're in the gym right that's one thing so something you could do, you could do is going to the gym doing yoga yoga it's also a meditative practice it is so yoga to me is one of the best things that you could do for your mental health in my opinion um, other things that you could do is losing weight, right? It, it, it doesn't change because when you lose weight, you got to start eating differently. And the foods that, that you eat affects your mental health. That, so it's just undeniable. Losing weight makes you much better. Physically, you feel better by yourself. And obviously, people react to you better, right? But for me, the most important thing is developing a meditation practice. And the way that you want to meditate is, is either one, get the book, The Power of Now by Eckhart Tolle. Two, purchase my course emotional mastery right it's a course that i specifically made I, I, and i even updated it um so if you want to purchase it you want to purchase the the gold package i updated the gold package i have some teachings that i can't teach on youtube that's why i put it in the gold package i'm sorry like there's just some methods i just cannot teach and i teach it there because i can't put it on youtube right it's a it's a different it's a nature meditation technique i do talk about it here a little bit more but i go more in depth in that course so um i i so I just cannot post it here. Um, but other than that, even you don't have to watch the get the gold package. The, the basic package teaches you the basics of meditation and how to apply meditation in your daily life, social life, career life. Right. It's almost like I teach you how to harness the true power of meditation rather than just freaking meditating like with, the, with, with Jacob, the white guy who's guiding you. <laughs> right. And now you want to M. Um, feel your breath. Um, yes, feel it from within you, man. Like now, nah, these techniques are, are things that that actually work if you if you actually do it. Or you guys can either go to a silent meditation retreat or ten day vipassana, ten day meditation retreat. It, it will teach you how to level up your emotions. Um, other things that you could do is go to go to your city and find Buddhist meditations or Buddhist temples. Um, and w the reason why is because those Buddhist temples offer one hour or two hour meditation sessions per week, right? You want to sit down and do it because when you go in a group and do a one hour meditation, you realize you could do more meditation. But when you meditate by yourself, you realize you can't meditate that much by yourself. So try to, in the beginning, try to meditate in a group, go find on, 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 on Google where you can find a group and just go there. Right. Um, now other than the leveling up with that, um, it's honestly, this is how I did it, people. I'm telling you how I did it. Um, going to the gym and meditating. Um, and, and, and what will happen is that your life will improve. You don't need to try to show it off. People will see it. It's, it's, it's one of those things that will just radiate from within. The self is always coming through. Um, other than that, it's, it's also dating a guy that looks the complete opposite of him, right? The, I call that the Sierra method or even the... The, the 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 Rihanna method, right? Dating somebody that looks the complete opposite, right? So or even Lori Harvey, where they dated they dated players, and then after that they dated fucking Carlton Banks, right? Um, the complete opposite always hurts a person's ego, because everyone is insecure about the opposite version of themselves, right? If you're if you're a coward, you're insecure when somebody dates someone who's more courageous. If you're white, you're going to be insecure if she dates Tyrone, the personal trainer. If you're Tyrone, if you're fucking Jamal, the running back, you're going to feel insecure when she dates Jacob, um, um, Jake, the quarterback, right? Th th it's just how that works. So you want to date the opposite, show it off. And obviously, I mean, look, man, I would prefer if he catches you on the street with, with, <laughs> with, with Jacob, the quarterback, right? But again, um, it's just... Sometimes posting it by yourself online is a little bit too much. So you want them to post it for you and then you and then you repost what they posted. You know what I'm saying? So that doesn't seem like you you're trying too hard. Um, what else? So my question is how to best level up myself when moving on so that maybe he might feel regret. Exactly. It's getting in shape, getting in more mental, getting in shape, showing it off, dating somebody that looks complete opposite. And above all, developing a meditation practice so that if he doesn't come back, you don't feel as reactive. And that's how you do it. Um, I, I'm, not, I'm like, it, it's, guys, it's, it's not hard for a guy to, to come back to you. The thing is, that, like I said, he's not going to come back for what you think he might come back. If by now, he doesn't, it, it's, it's, yeah, it's, it's very difficult, especially if you know he's going to leave. It's, it's, you should have, I hate to say you should have known, but 
if you're, if somebody's not gonna be there forever and you know they're not gonna be in the geographical location and 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 he's not planning to change his plans for you then you gotta just find somebody who fits your plans better you know don't 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 deviate yourself for someone who's not willing to do the same for you which I thought, okay, okay, I'm not ready. Yeah, the whole ready stuff, yeah, it, that's always bullshit, all right? Guys are not ready, they just don't like you enough. All right, but look, I got to update this. It says, um, she feels like she was love-bombed. Um, I feel like I was love-bombed and then discarded like trash as he came completely out the blue. I haven't reached out to him. I know my value that I deserve better. It, that's it that's the thing right that's why i told you guys one of the best strategies that you guys can do is slow things down slowing it down slowing down gives you so much power because it exposes his neediness it makes you look strong and it gives you like it, it allows you to leave with your head high in a weird way right call him out like people don't be afraid to tell people to slow the fuck down slow slow your hot ass down boy i know my value and i deserve better i just feel like let on as a progression in relationship. There were no signs of him pulling away, but that's the thing. Slow it down. Slow it down. Anytime you feel like you're being love bombed, shove like go like, oh, I'm feeling I'm being love bombed right now. And just pull away. And say, hey man, let's just slow this down a little bit. Always the one initiating plans and texting me every day. Did you cancel any plans? Did you ever say no to him? You didn't put any roadblocks. You made it too easy. When I was unavailable, he found the time to see me or make it work by even coming to on my physical therapy school tour with me. Why have me talk to your mom over the phone a few times? And if you don't, it, first of all, after you say you know him for two months, that's a little bit too much. That's a, too fast. I don't want to know your mama yet. And I don't even want to. I don't want to know your kid either. Keep the motherfucker away from me. Like you, you gotta slow things down, man. We this cannot. This is too fast. And didn't seem potential in a relationship. So she's like, how is it possible that you, I talked to your mama and it's not a relationship. He just left the door open with, I need space and I'll text you. But it's been two weeks and has been creeping on. He's been creeping on my Instagram. Dismissive avoiding. No, I don't give a fuck. His, his attachment style. I don't care about his attachment style. What I don't like is the fact that he led you on. And you didn't slow him down. So that's that's the problem here, man. You didn't put any brakes on him. So for future reference, people like him exist. And the way you deal with these types of people is to slow them the fuck down. Slow them the hell down. Say, hey, cowboy, let's slow down a little bit. Because if you would have done that, you would have seen his real self a little bit sooner. But now you know, he was a very small sacrifice in the altar of wisdom. You sacrificed them to learn this lesson to slow the fuck down and let them know to slow down. And you'll notice that there's power in that. You know, that's what Rihanna does. That's what Lori Harvey does. They slow the guys down. And by you slowing it down and by you, like, especially Rihanna, like Rihanna is, is actually a big part of, it does this a lot. She doesn't let the relationship, she doesn't, she doesn't let the relationship speed up too fast. And the reason why she does that is because once she wants her privacy and two, by slowing it down, it shows the guy, it shows you what the guy actually feels. All right. Yeah. All right. Anyways, that's my question for you. Hey, look, man, um, anybody who wants to check out any of this, you guys can look, let me show you my coaching packages right here, people. Um, <laughs> uh, right here. Boom. Okay. So we have a new 10 minute session right this is the economy package because <laughs> honestly i want to help i want to help you guys but i i get it's 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 not the cheapest but again it's because it works people if you work with me you will get results right if, and all of these one-on-one -on -one sessions are um all of these sessions are confidential like the the coaching phone package they're all confidential nobody knows about this so we got the ten dollars uh 99 for 15 30 for 150 and 45 for 199 and 60 minutes for 250. Honestly, you will get the results, right? And then we have the three package. So if you're if you're single or if you want to talk to me more on a consistent basis and have me in your pocket, you guys can purchase the three three times um, 45 minute session, which is usually 897. We drop it down to 247, you get a discount. Same here. Usually 597, we drop it down 497. 15 minutes the same. 
um and yeah people and then you have the email package which is what she purchased here and this is 75 dollars. and again you, you, people don't have to find out to you you could just change it up even i change it up all right like some i say some people are in china when in reality they're in fucking oakland <laughs> you know anyways i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you guys want to work with me one-on-one -on -one, click on the description down below or just become patreon supporters and for 25 dollars a month you guys can ask me two questions okay click on the description down below to find out and i'll see you guys later and don't forget we're we're our course um that the natural woman is coming out by this month or the end of next month so pre-order it now so that it's actually affordable, okay? So you guys can, it's a $69 now, but when it comes out, it's gonna be $99. So pre-order it right now, and I'll see you guys inside.